It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Omni Polo and wait for it. It's called the Nebuchadnezzar Imperial India Pale Ale. Uh, as with most of the Omni Polo beers, they have a, a picture or a drawing rather than names and writing all over the bottle. You can pick up what it says on the back if you want to have a little read. It's quite hard to pronounce. I probably got it completely wrong, but hey ho, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. An Imperial IPA 8.5, wow. Beer in the glass then. Might be bottle conditioned, so we'll leave a little bit of that yeast for later on. Uh, it's a two to three finger, slightly off white head. It certainly looks bottle conditioned. You can see the little bits of sediment floating around the glass. The carbonation's rising, the sediment's going, moving around to the side, as you can see. It's a lovely golden coloured ale, a little bit hazy to look at, nice amber colour, let's get the aroma. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I picked up this beer from Brewdog in Cardiff, it was released today. So I imagine Omnipolo have just released this beer, it's super fresh, it smells great. Oh my goodness me, are we in for a treat tonight? So big mango, kiwi fruit. It's a very floral, punchy, fruity IPA. Lots of kiwi, lots of mango coming through, lots of grapefruit, lots of, lots of pineapple, blood orange. Smells great. Gonna dive into this one. Cheers. <laughs> wow! Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What an awesome, awesome beer. That has just punched me sideways, my palate. Do you know what, I, I always say this in my reviews, when I have a really big, punchy, fresh, double IPA or a, or a single IPA, it just kind of sucks, it feels like it's sucking my, it's sucking my cheeks in. It, it's like a vacuum, it's pulling my cheeks in. I know when I'm looking at the camera, I'm thinking, am I, are my cheeks kind of pulling in? What's going on? Nothing's going on, but I just feel it's that sensation of a, of a big, fresh, bold, big IBU beer, bitter beer that just rips your palate and you can feel it in the inside of your mouth, sliding down your throat. You've got taste buds down the back of your throat there, top of your mouth, back of your tongue. It, this is the, the full beans, the full beans, full balls deep beer. Double IPA wise, probably as long as it's fresh. Now, that goes for all IPAs, all double IPAs. If you can get a beer brewery fresh in, in this condition, then bang, you know you've got a great beer. Mm. Wow. So, flavour-wise, apart from that kind of gripping mouthfeel thing I was just talking about, this mango, this kiwi, there's, there's lots of bitter blood orange. It's like biting into a bitter blood orange with, with, without removing the skin. It's like just biting into it. Um, the skin is, is giving you that raw bitterness. If you've ever bitten into an orange peel or a lemon peel, you'll, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. That raw, zesty bitterness. 
and then you when you get your teeth through and you and you taste through that that skin of that orange or that lemon you 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 pile through into into flavor and that flavor is yes blood orange and lemon but it's also as i mentioned kiwi fruit and mango maybe some passion fruit it's it's a beautiful beautiful beer pardon my bit of wind on the polo for me it's that they've gone out to achieve a stamp of quality from sweden they've traveled the globe bringing bringing their reputation up higher and higher and higher they've produced amazing imperial stouts imperial porters pale ales ipas double ipas you name it when you get a on the polo beer you know it's going to be good you know it's going to be good and i've got great admiration for that i really understand where they're going with that um i've brewed beers around europe and the uk and i feel that on the polo could be or, or, or should be a role model for me to be able to say okay simon if you're going to get out and brew with these companies let's brew the best beer you can possibly brew and that's what they've done let's see if this nice slightly hazy beer let's see if it's a bottle conditioned beer then maybe not maybe just unfiltered may actually actually maybe bottle conditioned look at that okay i'm gonna say yeah this, this is a bottle conditioned beer so fantastic then from the guys from omnipolo i'm gonna try one more time to get this 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 name right have a look please comment please see how i've done or please try and pronounce the beer as as you think it should be pronounced nebushtad <laughs> Nebushnaza, Nebushnaza, Imperial IPA from Omnipolo, 8.5%, um, ABV, let's give it a rating. Yeah, stonking, absolutely stonking. There's nothing I can say. There's, there's, you know, sometimes in life, or, or a, lot of a lot of the times when I review beer, if I stand here and I think there's there's nothing wrong with this beer, I cannot I cannot pull this beer apart. I cannot downgrade it. I can't I cannot say this. You know there's 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 nothing. It's a lovely bitterness on the back end. So for me, when you can't take anything away, you give full marks. Ten out of ten. It's a ten out of ten from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.